TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Uh, this is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently, we've got uh, uh, a mixed bag out here. The Dow's off by 49. The S&P's down 8. NASDAQ 100 off 15. Russell's up 3. Semis are flat, down just slightly. Uh, transports are the big winner out here, up 120 points. Gold is off 12 bucks. Silver down 26 pennies. Let's begin by taking a look at our intraday time frame charts and start with the S&P 500 via the ES Mini and looking at its 30-minute time frame. We can see that earlier today at about 7 o'clock, let me get my cursor out here, give you the exact time. There was a valid TD9 count pattern that formed right there at 7.30. There was never a close above the high of that pattern. The high of that pattern is 36.21. 0.25 out there. Uh, so that's your signal. That's your top. That's your level to be watching intraday. Any close above that, you're off to the races to the upside. Now, we don't have that. But we do have, we can see we can see an A to B equals CD to the downside. I can't draw that pattern in on this uh, version of my white background charts. But you can see an A to B equals CD in the move lower off of that TD9 count right back to a key level of support. It's TD9 breakout support area, 35.93. If between 2 and 2.30, you receive a bullish reversal candle, and that's possible, that would then confirm a buy the D point. And the move lower inside the ES Mini would be over as it came right back to a breakout support level. So you have a valid top. That's a TD9 count. Really, all sellers have the ability to do is try to push price back to support. For support levels, we take a look at task market profiles. Our ultimate support would be getting back to its breakout level. And that's that 3593 area. So watch the ES Mini. Watch this next half hour. If you get a bullish reversal candle, price should continue higher for probably the next hour or so. If we take a look at the NQ out here, the NQ uh, earlier this morning formed a nice TD9 count bottom. It did it at, uh, well, it confirmed that pattern by 11 o'clock this morning. Now we have just a retracement back to the top of the U.S. opening range, which is at about the 11,960. That's actually the top of the, I'm sorry, the bottom of the U.S. opening range, top of the Asian opening range. Those areas can absolutely act as support or resistance out here. But no real clear signal inside of the NQ just yet. Watch the ES Mini. A bullish reversal candle will confirm a buy the D point and price should move higher. If you don't get that, well, then that's not the case. Folks, stay tuned for David White. He's up next after that, Tom O'Brien. Have a wonderful Wednesday. We'll look forward to seeing you soon.